Yeah. Welcome to Monday Mukbang. Welcome, Welcome to, to Monday, Monday Mukbang. <laughs> Woo! Woo! My name's John. My name is Neil. And today we are feasting on the big house. Mm. Again. Again. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so we got got field Reed. roast, California burgers, and shoot. Baba burgers. Baba burgers. Baba burgers. And they're all vegan burgers. And we got these overly sized rolls. And we are using just mayo. And French's yellow mustard. French's yellow mustard. Heinz ketchup. And Heinz ketchup. We're just going to talk about uh, Dad's experience with doing what oh. I ate in the day. Um, Jessica has asked me to start trying to film what I ate in a day. Only because uh, <laughs> I tend to eat different things. Than what she does, I tend to eat a lot more. I, I don't know. I probably tend to eat more raw food. Um, what do you mean by raw food? You mean like vegetables and stuff? Yeah, like raw vegetables. Um, well, you're um, you're you're, you're, you're and just vegetables and certain types of vegetables in general. Uh, your mom or Jessica would not eat beets. Also, also my father has summer school, and so. We've at least, he usually doesn't eat when he's at summer school, but we've at least tried to persuade him or do something that he can at least eat a snack of some sort. Yeah. Um, down a little. So we've gotten him to try at least do some vegetables. Um, he does do, what's that brand called? Boathouse? Green Goodness? Oh yeah. He does bring those as well. Um, not with the vegetables, he usually does one or the other to try and keep, to, you know, keep a little bit of difference. But... Yeah, he's been filming those. Uh, you've been doing some breakfast ones with yogurt. Yeah. And a lot of fresh fruit. Um. Down. Our dog, Wednesday, has become a parkour expert. <laughs> she literally is climbing up with the sides of her legs between the two of us, using us as sort of like mountains. But yeah, um. How those? What am I eating? Then you know, been doing. My favorite part has been the. I hate to say this, and it's, this is not sponsored. The Dr. Prager uh, oatmeal's have been really, really good. Um, they're very. I mean, they're expensive, and I'm sure I probably could uh, collect the ingredients that go into them and make them myself. But it's really uh, the other part. The other thing that I found is that they're real handy to just have like a little cup there. Not well, usually with yogurt. They're usually in little. Well, I'd like to add yogurt. Mm -hmm. Um, and I really like the so delicious yogurt. Well, that's a, that's the one brand you're becoming more a fan of because that's a coconut brand, right? You love yeah. coconut, and that usually usually with the so delicious brand of coconut, usually. Oh yeah. You're liking them more. You throw that up. I like the coconut flavor, so when I throw that into different foods or different mixes, it always works out well for me. I don't know if I can eat the rest of these burgers. I think I'm gonna have like one or two more. I don't know. Mm. These rolls are filling. Anyway, but my dad, my I've been asked to do some of them too. Um, it is yet to be seen whether I'll be doing some of what I eat in the days. Cause I know if I if I'm doing them, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing them right. That's you know, one thing. Um, kind of, I see how he does it. See how my mom my mom has done it. Um, I'd probably do a little more like explosive commentary. Like look at this. <laughs> look, look at all that. This is what I'm eating today. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, I do some explosive commentary. But he wants to sell it. Yeah, I want to sell the product. Even though we're not sponsored, but I want to sell it. You know, I'm gonna make it good. Um, <clears throat> um, well, you all, you've not only been doing breakfast, you've been doing, yeah, um, no, I mean, lunches. I, I do lunches, dinners, the whole thing. Probably the most, probably the, the, the most interesting thing that I've found, uh, in my what I ate in a day journey has been cooked beets. Uh, so I'm a big... I, I, I sort of found, I've sort of fallen in love with the beat. <laughs> the, the, ha 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 ha. Yeah. 
fallen in love with the beat. I've fallen in love with the beat. Well, there's been more. There's been more than just the beat. Well, I didn't. You, I know. Um, you've also been having pineapple. And yeah, I mean, didn't you also have radishes? Fruit, fruit, and vegetables. Yeah. Like I said, um, I'm really trying to do a better job of keeping yourself healthy. You keep myself healthy, and then a lot of the comments that I've been reading suggest suggest to me that I, you know it's one thing to go vegan; it's another thing to try to be a healthy vegan or healthier and not eat so much processed stuff like this. Yeah. And if I don't choose to make it, it's probably not going to get made around here. Hey. Well. Uh, anyway. It's not true? I said it's kind of true. It is kind of true. My father's a great cook, no matter whether he says he's not. Uh, he's, a, he's a really great cook. Thank you, Nana, for doing Whoa. that. Giving a shout out to Nana? Whoa. There's, yeah, I mean. In case you don't know, Nana is my, Nana is my mother. And she cooks very well. She's And the boys is his grandmother. Mm, she, and she cooks quite well, and my father has taken that skill, and well, he does a great job at it. There you go. So thank you, now. Um, you don't know where to go from there, do you? I don't know. Okay. Um, I'll okay. be honest with you. It's very. Uh, it, it is sort of uplifting to have your children acknowledge and uh, recognize your your parents mm -hmm. uh, as a person who influenced their, your life and then therefore their lives. Yeah. Um, that being said, hopefully one of the things that uh, watch, the boys watching me do uh, what I eat in a day, it just hopefully will bring them back to some of the, some of the more uh, non-processed foods or at least, uh, like, at least being healthier. Yeah, because I know. Um, um, but my my mother had recently gotten uh, had recently gotten protein bars or snack bars and or meal fillers, meal fill meal filler bars, and I enjoyed them. My father enjoyed them, and she just recently bought a couple more box of them. And I've been uh, that's what I've been usually doing for breakfast, is eating one of them, and usually maybe some kind of little side of fruit or something like that, or. So, something like that, at least to lower my intake of, uh, of breakfast. Because usually what I would have is cereal with toast, and I'd have a lot more to breakfast than what I've now been usually having. Um, lunch I've been trying to cook, I've been cook, uh, taken back to. I've been doing more of, uh, I know I know we probably said, we've said it a number of times before, and we'll probably say it a good number of times in the future. Both me and my father love hummus. And that's what I've been trying to do for more lunch. Um, yeah, eating yeah, we're more. A bit, we're a bit. We're a bit low on hummus. We just finished it a couple days ago. We get. Uh, we got rid of uh, roasted garlic and and taco. Taco inspired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, taco inspired. So hey, that's what I've been trying to do for lunch. At least cut it back. Um, mm -hmm. I know it's not. I know hummus isn't the healthiest, mm -hmm. but a lot of other choices that I've done. Just continue. A lot of other choices that I have, at least I feel like eating hummus. Girl, you know, makes me makes me at least feel better about what I'm eating. Um, definitely doing that, eating a bit. I've just in general been eating a bit more healthier. Um, with I mean, dinner is the only aspect of my life that I still have yet to have yet to bring down. But that's due mostly because of how I when I work and how I work. Because yeah. I work and I work more in the nights, and I I can't normally. You're always in a rush. Yeah, I'm always in a rush to eat something. So I and it's, I, and it's sort of uh, I, I find it sort of enlightening or uh, uh, endearing, I guess maybe it might be a better term uh, that that Neil is experiencing the work-life balance at age 17, um, especially since he's got a lot of things to look forward to. Um, such as a full-time job, not a part-time job, uh, and, and being college, and being outside of co being outside of college. Mm. Co hopefully, college doesn't take you 
more than four or five years. Hopefully, right? Hopefully. Um, but yeah, I think definitely what my mother and father have been doing, whether it's cook, whether it's whether I'm here for dinner and they've cooked, and my father or my mother have planned a uh, meal out that is vegan or it's low in it's it's low in fats or it, it's something. It's more healthier than what we have had in the past. It, it just it has some kind of it, it's inspired me a little bit to eat healthier. I know with my dad doing what I ate in the days, where my mom is doing what I ate in the days. This is not healthy, however. These are this is a double patty, double patty burger. Hey, would Le hey at least those two patties have less <laughs> fat and calories than normal patties. True. Awesome. Yeah. In case you haven't figured out, Nick's Nikki on the side. is on the side. Yeah. He's coaching us through this this uh, Monday mukbang because go go go. He's the only one of us to do it by ourselves. Yeah. Go, so go, soon you'll go. see one from me and. Soon from dad. You'll see soon all all singular ones with all of us. But you're gonna do one. You're gonna do one. You know she's gonna you know you know you're gonna you know that Captain Omni Omni Vegan. Captain Omni uh, uh, Captain Captain O V Captain O V is gonna make you do a singular mukbang. Well, Maybe. Captain Jack, Captain Mom, Captain nope. Neil, Captain Me, whatever. But yeah, I, but I, just, I, I do, have, I have been in, I think it just has inspired me to at least eat a little bit healthier because I, I do enjoy vegan food. I enjoy these vegan foods and yeah, it's definitely, I know, I know that processed is not, processed vegan food is of course not as good, not better, but at least I see it as at least a little bit better than processed non-vegan food. Um, I could I, I think I, I can sit here and eat this burger and feel at least a little bit better than I'm eating something a, eating a healthier burger than what I normally eat. yes I'm having mayo I'm having ketchup on it but at least I, inside I feel better about eating it than eating a greasy burger that may come out from either a fast food place or it's just even cooked at home and I feel better about it and they're, it, it, they're not even bad if you've seen our Burger videos. There's burgers that we like and we enjoy, and that and that's that's some to go about, go on. <clears throat> but I know that Captain Ov or AK Mom is gonna, or <laughs> Jessica, as you know her as well, is gonna want me to do what I eat in the days, and I probably will do a couple for the future, whether it's lunch, uh, lunch, dinner, or even breakfast. Um, who knows? But. I know I'm probably gonna do them, and I, I, myself, I think I'm, I'm capable of doing them. I definitely like a lot of fruits. I like a lot of vegetables. I'm more of a fruit guy than a vegetable guy. I like sweets, sweetie, sweet things. I'm more of my mother. Um, but I, I, yeah, I'd probably do a couple of what I eat in the days because I know my, my father at least has a hard time doing them with summer school, and my mother has a hard time doing them because she has work. So most likely. Um, I myself would be willing to do some of them for for breakfast. There you go. You'd like to hear what I ate today from Neil? Please leave a comment down below. Yeah, or a like. You know, get yeah, a or like. A like you know. Get a like on that. Um, I think the other funny thing that if you can do, um, <clears throat> you know, type salute Captain. Uh, OV, Captain OV. Captain OV. Well, Captain Jessica. Well, it's Captain OV. Captain OV. Okay, then. Um, go, go, go. Nick. But, yeah, I, I don't know really what more to say. I think I said my kind uh, of deal. You've been eating those, what have you been eating for lunch that I actually would have wanted to enjoy, enjoy uh, try? You mean that ramen stuff? Yeah, that the again only because it's it's quick and it's easy. The uh, there's Dr. Prager's uh, noodle cups. Again, not sponsored. Um, just one of those things that we picked up, picked up, awesome. stumbled upon. They taste really good. Uh, Nick has tried my Dr. Prager noodles. He likes them. They are legitimately spicy. Ding! 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, no matter how many times Nick, yeah. Nick will say on a, on a thing that's spicy. Nick. Nick. Scum like a fire guy. Shh. Like in the movies. But, yeah. So, have you eaten anything else for lunch? I feel like you have. I oh, usually always today. throw in at least a couple vegetables. Plus, a boatload. I mean, a boatload of hummus. <laughs> I mean, or salsa. Salsa, I love salsa. That's the other dip we really enjoy. Or, well, you mostly enjoy. I, I like. Me too. I like the guacamole. Uh, we don't have, yeah, we don't have make really up avocados, onions, Nick. salt, and pepper in Nick. a dash of hot sauce. <laughs> Nick's got the Nick's got the recipe down. Um. So this is probably my last burger. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's these buns. I'm telling you, these buns are huge. These buns are huge. <laughs> we got these are your grandma's on, kitchens. They're really filling. Here on obviously vegans. We, we were using huge buns. Yeah. <laughs> da -da -da -da. We had two burgers left and two buns. Go, Please. go, go. Please, Nick. Okay. No more, buddy. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. That's good. Which one is that? Bubba. The the Bubba is good. I mean, it's delicious. The the you know you, you know you say you don't the buns are full of carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Not carbohydrates, but like just processed sugar. Yeah. And flour. Um. But they're so darn good buns. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I don't know. I enjoy doing the what I eat today. It's it provides a little bit of a record for yourself, uh, and, and it makes you be accountable for what you're trying to what you what you're actually eating and fueling your body with. So I mean, actually, like the concept of the video. Uh, if, yeah, like yeah. I know, mom. It, it's a very simple. And you, straightforward video. And that, is, isn't it once a day? Or no, not no, once no. a day. It's once a one. Once day. every mealtime. Anytime you eat something, you're 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 you take a snapshot. You, well, not a snapshot, but a, a video. little vi little video clip, like 20 seconds. Um, I ha I I I do a little bit of uh, I do jazz mine up a little bit more than so than mom does. Mm. Um, but so I'm sure that the, our our audience knows when I've done one or when. Of course, then there's the voice difference. Yeah, that's all. Well, you do sound so much alike. <laughs> now, you and I might, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know. Depends on how much enthusiasm we put into it. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Monotone over here may not, uh, may not jazz it up. There's Buttercup. How about that? Buttercup loves, Buttercup loves the human food. I'm not gonna lie. They both like this. Yeah. Uh, whether you see it be, that little piece right there, don't you? Whether it be, uh, you see that anything. Piece. Noodles, um, they're good dogs. Uh, and we love them. Do not let them eat off the table, for goodness' sake! I let them eat out of my bowl. I, you mean, let them I... eat off your? Uh, no, don't let them. Actually, do not let them eat off of your bowl. That's ridiculous. Well, you can feed them out of your hand. Once I'm done with it. No. Yeah. <sighs> it's like a little bit of pasta sauce. I let them have it. In the comments down below, please tell my son why you don't let dogs. And cats eat out of bowls that you're eating out. And of. you, if you think it's adorable that they do that, tell them why he's wrong. To say that, and we'll see how many we get. Yeah, I'd love to see how many we get. Where versus, uh, should we let dogs and cats use our silverware and plates? Because not. You don't have a cat. And I'm not saying they should use silverware. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> they should be. Well, able if they're to gonna work. use a plate, why can't they use silverware? They just get a little bit of leftover sauce, you know. Leftover crumbs. Do you really want to eat the bottom of the bag uh, potato crumbs? Or you're like, you know what? My dog's been really good lately. I'm going to pull them on a plate and give them a little salt snack. Listen, I think I it looks adorable. I give the dogs pieces of carrot when I'm eating my, uh, when I, while I'm uh, filming or getting ready to film <sighs> uh, what, my what I ate in a day. Um, the other thing I gotta start doing better, and I know the what I ate in a day process uh, doesn't really, no one really says, oh hey, put down how much water you're drinking. I really, as like, as a, just a record for myself, um, I think that my water intake is really low, and that's not good. Well, you used to drink a lot of water. I did, I did. I, and I know and they- all of a sudden I stopped, and I don't know why. I know they recommend, they, re I, they recommend, what, eight cups of water a day? I don't know about that. Who knows? 
I they, also, larger, they also tell me that coffee is bad for me, which is ridiculous. Um, oh, no. Uh, coffee's not bad for you. I mean, I'm sure if, if you drank too much of it. I only drink maybe two, three cups a day. Sometimes more. I, I mean, know. yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Hey, I could have been having like five. I don't six. think I'm having five or six cups of coffee a day. Uh, again, <clears throat> usually I have. I've been trying to drink. Uh, I like the cold coffee now. <coughs> Um, I like hot coffee too. You I used like. to drink it with that. Also, coconut milk. <coughs> I drink it with coconut milk. I like espresso with coconut milk. Uh, that gives you that little extra. Um, <gasps> yeah, that little extra. That's what I need. Yep. A little extra. That's espresso for you. Yeah. That's um, a shot. Uh, you've never had espresso, huh? I don't know. I don't know if I've had it. No. Not in my, not in my presence we haven't ever had an espresso. Um, do I really need it? No. You need it. Everybody needs a little espresso. <laughs> no, it, no, 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 I don't. I have enough energy as it is. Um, so, before the dogs uh, surround us and take us captive, this um, has been Omni's Eat Vegan. This has been an Omni's Eat Me, me ugh, Vegan. Eat Megan. Eat Megan. He, this has been an Omni's Eat Vegan uh, Monday mukbang. And I've been John the whole time. And I've been Neil the whole time. Hopefully I never change. Yeah, Mark. there you go. Ooh, oh, uh-oh, parkour. No, 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 don't fall. <laughs> oh, she saved. Anyway, so, uh, <clears throat> so if, if you like this video, put a like. Or if you <laughs> believe in anything anything we've said today, just hit a like button. Or all, of course, comment down below if you believe dogs and cats should be able to lick out a bowl and enjoy some stuff. And if you don't, comment that too. And if you have any... Uh, suggestions on topics or other foods you'd like us to try or make. Um, I know we have a, may have a couple recipes and got recipes of thinking of making for a mukbang. Um, but yeah, I think I, I've, I've enjoyed this. This, this. I know we got a little. I, I always enjoy uh, sitting down with Neil and doing these types of things. I think it's a lot. Of, I think it's a lot of fun to look back, and I, I think it'd be a lot of fun to look back. Uh, you know, even five years or even a year from now. And see he and I interacting in, in this at this level, uh, but also I f I know we got a little derailed from the topic of obviously being. Let's be honest, as, as we, we always as we, as we usually do. do. Yeah. But I I think at least we derailed into a topic that I yeah. think Captain Ovi will enjoy. So uh, don't forget to comment and have a good day. Stay healthy, my friends. <laughs>